We have a couple days left in August. I cannot believe September is right around the corner. I seriously do not know where this year has gone. It has flown by. So today I want to fully get my life together. I want to organize as much as I can, Get just get fully organized for the month ahead. I want to schedule everything, set goals, clean my space. I have a whole list of stuff that I want to do today. So it's going to be a good productive day and we're just going to hang out and do it together. I was putting a shoe on the other day and a little gecko ran out. So I feel like I'm constantly looking at the floor going like the gecko is still up here somewhere. Yeah, I, I put my foot in my shoe and a gecko ran out. I don't know about you guys, but I am afraid of stuff like that. I'm afraid of lizards. For some reason, I'm not that scared of spiders, but like lizards, mice, anything that I feel like can like run up my leg. I'm gonna get started on my list. Um, I wanna start with laundry and putting fresh sheets on our bed. So before all the planning and scheduling and organizing for the month ahead, I'm just gonna clean a little bit. It really helps to have a clear space when you're doing things like that. Clear mind, clear, what? What is it? Clean space, clear mind. set like a 15 <coughs> oh my gosh i just moved two of the rugs that are behind you and i like stacked them and that's what that was anyway i'm gonna set a 15 or 20 minute timer to just clean up around the house i find that that's a really good amount of time to kind of just pick up maybe do the dishes like just pick up some of the stuff around the house and it's like a challenge having a time limit I want to properly clean it out, so I'm going to take all the food out, wipe it, oh, hello, I'm going to take out all the food, wipe down all the surfaces, I just want it to smell a little bit fresher, and then put everything back in. The last thing that I'm going to do before I start actually organizing and scheduling out my month is my vitamins <laughs> my little granny vitamin organizer i've mentioned this before but gabe and i got some blood work done at the start of the year and we got different vitamins to help us with the different things that we were lacking i have a bunch of things here like vitamin c vitamin d zinc a women's probiotic there's just a bunch here so it's a lot easier to just put them all in these little organizers a monthly reset day is the perfect day to do something like this so it's all set up for the month ready to organize and plan my month ahead writing down what's going on and having like everything in front of me on a calendar and in a planner just helps me feel really organized before i do that i'm just going to sit and watch a couple lessons of this online class that i'm taking right now it's through skillshare and it's all about productivity if you've never heard of skillshare basically it's this online learning community they have thousands of online classes that you can watch there's classes for every skill level and there's so many different types of classes you could do a graphic design class music production, freelance, business, productivity. There's so many classes to choose from. So the class I'm taking right now is by Greg McEwen, who is the author of the book Essentialism, which Gabe actually recently read and he raves about. Yeah, this class is called Simple Productivity, How to Accomplish More with Less. So it's really about focusing on like the most essential things that you need to get do get to it is curated for learning so there's no ads which is nice you can also take a skillshare live class which is something that i'd love to do skillshare gave me a cool offer for you guys if you are interested in trying it out so the first 1000 people to click the link down below will get one month for free which is really awesome so i'll leave that link down below thank you skillshare for sponsoring this video i'm gonna watch a couple lessons and then get into scheduling and planning in my own life i spend an hour or two every week i do it on sunday my weekly planning process is done in a 
a, in a journal, a paper and pen process. That's my favorite. I watched a little bit of that Skillshare class and it was so good. I was just saying to Gabe that I just need to be intentional with implementing these things that I'm taking notes on. Definitely recommend that class if you decide to try out Skillshare. I've just come into Gabe's office because I'm going to use the printer. I really like printing off blank calendars, like a completely blank calendar, and then I write in all the dates, all of that. I like doing that because I feel like months can change and plans can change and scheduling can change. I just prefer doing it all from scratch so I'm just printing one off now and then I'm gonna completely plan my whole month. Gabe and I use Google Calendar for all of our business and our personal. Basically everything is already on Google Calendar but I do like having paper like it all written down in front of me. It helps me to process everything that I need to do if I'm like the one writing it down. I double up in a way on my calendar usage which I don't know it would be the most essential thing to do just speaking of the class that I just took for our business and like our management they need to see everything digitally but I do like doing this extra step of doing it all out in front of me on paper and he was saying in the Skillshare class to do it on paper because there's no distractions very inspiring it definitely motivated me um printed out my calendar I'm gonna go downstairs and get started okay so to start out I'm going to look at our Google Calendar and just look at it over the month and just see what we have already planned the different work things that we need to do the different travel that we're doing and then I'll go from there I might see if I have any post-it notes I like doing some color creating with post-it notes for like if it's a video that we're doing or like a business thing I'm gonna start by going from our Google Calendar and like moving it all onto paper I'm gonna see if Gabe has some post-it notes. I might go run and grab some because I know I'll be happier if I do this on, on post-it notes. But I thought first I'd write down everything in my head that I know is gonna happen this month. For example, I think I'm gonna be doing a couple of writing sessions and recording a song this month. So those things are gonna be something that I write down on this, just knowing like I have to schedule this in at some point. This is more of a brain dump of everything that I know is happening or that I know I need to schedule. A couple hours later, I stopped for dinner. We watched an episode of Blacklist. Thought I'd show you what I've done so far. I got these post-it notes and I just cut them up so I could have like little tabs. So it's all color coordinated. So I have content, personal, business, and travel. And I like doing it this way because if I need to move something, it's easy to just pick it up and stick it somewhere else. All of our travel haven't been booked. So I just put that on there, kind of knowing that I have to schedule that somewhere in here. So this is gonna change and I'm obviously gonna add a lot to it, but this is kind of what I know at the moment. But yeah, I love these little tab things. I was saying to Gabe, I would love to make a Harper and Willow product like this, but like that's an actual kind of tab size. I'm gonna write that down because I think it would be really handy to have like these little tab stickers that you can move around. I'm gonna spend some time now just writing down some goals, just anything I want to accomplish or just things that I want to happen within the month of September. It could be personal or business or fitness. Writing it down at the start of the month I feel like is a good way to hold yourself accountable to what you want to accomplish. Another thing I'd like to do to start the month off nice and fresh is to wash my makeup brushes. Let this just be like a little PSA for anyone who also needs to wash their makeup brushes. I definitely don't do it enough. I actually got into a routine last year of washing them pretty often, of washing my beauty blenders really often. But since moving into this house, I haven't like gotten into a good routine of cleaning them regularly. I thought this is a really good thing to start the month off fresh with. I should definitely be cleaning them more than just every month. I have this product here from Beauty Blender. It's the beauty, no, it's not. It's the Blender Cleanser Solid Pro. I've tried a couple makeup brush cleaners and this one is my favorite. It lasts a long time and it cleans them really well. So basically what I do is I wet this with water, I wet this with water and then I just clean it and then I'll rinse the brush out. And I'll do that basically until the brush is clean, the water is clear. I also wash my beauty blenders with this too. So we're gonna do that now and have clean makeup brushes. Oh no. My brother just called, so I was talking to him while I was finishing doing my brushes, but they're all clean. They look so much better. I think I'm gonna finish the day by doing a face mask and a hair mask. I feel like that's a nice way to bring in a new month, just pampering myself a little bit. So I'm gonna put a hair mask on and then shower it out and then do a nice 
like hydrating face mask. It's gonna be really good. It's been a good productive day. I do feel really set up for September. Set up for September. So if you guys enjoyed it and if you've never tried a monthly reset, maybe give it a go. I thought you were on that side of the house. Are you okay? That was so fucking weird. When I picked up the stuff, you walked that way. And then I was walking up and I didn't see you walk by. Oh my gosh. That's scary. You have superpowers, don't you? I do, yeah. That's the answer to it.